Welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Gronke. Today, we're going to merge PDF documents using People Code. Merging PDF documents using People Code. Why would you want to merge PDF documents inside of PeopleSoft? Well, there's a lot of times we have reports that really are sourced from, if you look at it, more than one report. A great example I had as a report I did for a government agency for employees moving permanently to new locations. Now, first page of the report was all about the employee, including their dependents, up to four dependents on that page. The second page was the actual from and to information about the move. The problem occurred when our employee had more than four dependents, maybe five, whatever didn't fit into that four dependent grid. Now, we're filling in a PDF with BI Publisher, so we just can't expand the section. It has a defined section to go in there. What the guidance is for the employee filling this out by hand is just to photocopy that first page for as many pages as they need for all their dependents. So if they had six dependents, they'd use two pages. If they had nine dependents, they used three pages and so on. So three first pages and one second page, and that's the way it goes. Now, if we were to do that with BI publisher or some report and just have those together filling out that PDF, we'd end up with first page, second page, first page, second page, first page, second page, and basically two spare second pages that are confusing and we don't need. Better way. Let's break the report to first page will make as many as we need. In this case, for the employee with nine dependents, we need three first pages. Then we'll make the second page to and from. Once we're done those two reports, we're going to merge them two together through people code and then deliver them back to the user where the user is expecting them. That's our example when we have these reports from disparate sources and they need to go together. It's better to work them individually. Now, let's talk about the scope of this video. This video is not going to talk about creating BI publisher reports. It assumes that you already know that. If you'd like more of that information, we have other videos on this channel about creating BI Publisher reports. This video will cover taking an existing PDFs, whether they're created by BI Publisher or another application, and merging them into one document and being able to deliver them to the user where the user needs. As always, all our code and objects are available on peopletoolstechtips.com in PeopleTools projects for you to upload in your pump. Let's get to merging PDF docs using people code. Let's start with a walkthrough of our solution, merging two PDFs and adding page numbers. This page has two controls. One is a push button to create merge PDF document. The second is a text box showing the location of our resulting merge document. Clicking the join PDFs button creates a two simple BI publisher documents behind the scenes, but doesn't present them. It takes the two, merges them together in a third document, adds page numbers, then pops the new merge document into a new user tab. Let's get started with creating our first document. We're going to put all the code in the component record field field change event of the push button. As always, document our customization. Import the delivered PeopleSoft BI Publisher app package to create our contributing PDF documents. Then import the delivered PSXP engine, which has all the classes we need for the merge PDF documents and page numbers. The get dir separator delivered function determines the correct forward or backward slash directory separators depending on whether the code is running on Windows or a Unix based OS. Next, declare all the variables. We're going to use the XML doc method to create an XML data for BI Publisher. See the other videos on our channel for a detailed explanation of creating XML files this way. Also notice the file objects declared. Each BI pub document will need its own XML data file and the target file for our merged PDF. Declare the object of our first BI publisher doc. Now we're going to create the XML doc for our first report. Create the root. Add the top level node element as first report. Add a child node to that first node, call it first data. Give that node a value of first data for the report. Now that all our data is complete, Use the XML doc method of get formatted XML string to output the formatted XML data from our object into a string named XML string. Instantiate our first XML data file. Remember UTF-8 character encoding. Write our generated XML string to file. Before we close, store the fully qualified file name from the file object's name property into a variable we'll use later. Now close our XML file. Now let's create the first BI Publisher PDF report. 
Instantiate the BI pub object with the report definition name. Get to load the object. Hand the XML file we created to the BI pub object using the set runtime XML file method. Process the report and commit the work to clear the think time functions. Now let's pop the report to a new browser tab to see what we have so far. Before we leave here, we want to find the fully qualified file name to that newly generated BI publisher PDF. Get our directory separator from the deliver get dir separator function. The generated file name is the object ID property, a dot, and then the object's extension method get out desk formatted string. The fully qualified file name is the BI publisher object out destination property. Add a subdirectory name report inst and then the formatted file name from the previous statement. Now, let's put that path string to the new PDF in that file path page field. Before we go, let's clean up after ourselves. Delete that XML data file since we don't need it anymore. Save. Let's see what we have. Click our Join PDFs button. Our PDF report pops up into a new tab and we see our first data in the report. Returning to our page, we see the fully qualified URL to that new PDF document we just created with BI Publisher. Now let's create our second PDF document for the merge. Add the second BI Pub report variable to the declaration. The second BI Pub report is going to be exactly like the first one, just with second data in it. Our XML file name will be second XML. Again, capture the fully qualified URL into a variable before closing the file object. Create our second BI pub report just as we did the first. Get set runtime data XML file with the second XML file. Process. Commit work and display the output to a new browser tab. Now, to capture the second PDF's fully qualified file name the same way we did the first report, put the fully qualified file name to the second PDF onto the page field. And again, Clean up after ourselves by deleting that XML data file we no longer need. Save, and let's test generating the second PDF. Click the button. We see the second PDF here, and our first PDF document. Both of these PDFs are small, simple, one-page reports. And we see the fully qualified file name to our second PDF report on the page from our BI Publisher object. So now that we have two or more PDFs, Let's merge them together. We need an array of string to hold the file names of all the PDFs to merge. We also need a Boolean variable for the result of the merged method. Comment out displaying the individual reports to the user. Instantiate our merge object. PSXP engine app package PDF merger class. Instantiation takes no parameters. We need a file to place the merged PDF documents into. Unless you have a defined absolute location to place the file, I place the file into the temp directory by creating a placeholder file and capturing the fully qualified URL from that file. Next, put the URLs of the contributing reports into the array. There needs to be one or more reports in this array for the merge. Initialize the merge error string with nothing. The actual merger. The Boolean variable captures the result of the merge PDF method. The first method parameter is the array with the contributing PDF document locations. Second parameter is the target file name for the resulting merge document. Last parameter is the error string. After the merge, we want to pop the merge file into a new browser tab. I'm going to use the attachment function to present the merge report. Put the file into a file attach table, then pop it to a new browser window. Lastly, show the fully qualified URL of the new merge file on the file name page field. Save and test our solution. Here's a merge document. It has two pages. First PDF report in the first page. Second PDF report on the second page. The contributing reports are added to the merged report in the order they are in the array. And here's the fully qualified file name to that merged PDF document. Let's talk about page numbering. The PSXP Engine App Package has a page numbering class allowing us to sequentially number the pages after the merge. Instantiate a page numbering object right after the merge object. Now, set the page number class properties. First thing is to set the font. Default font is Helvetica. 
Then set the font size for the page numbers. The position X property is the horizontal position from left to right on the page for the number. For font size 10, 300 is about the middle of the page. The position Y property is the vertical position starting from the bottom of the page. Value 20 is just a little up from the bottom. The start number is the first page number of the report. The default to start is one, but you can start with whatever number you need. Finally, the page number property of the PDF merger object is the page number class. Assign it here. Let's see how that worked out. Our report, page one, page two. Let's make some changes and see how the merge handles it. Start with page number 50. Test. Page 50. And page 51. Now let's change the font to one of the other available page number fonts as listed in PeopleBook's API reference. Zap F Dingbats. Let's see the result of that. Run. Page number for 50 in that font. And 51 in that font. We need to review some of the PI Publisher report definition settings to successfully merge PDFs created by BI Publisher. Let's use the XPDF First report definition as an example. Navigate to the BI Publisher report definition component. Template is an RTF. Output is PDF. Click on the Properties tab. Change the property group to PDF Security. Ensure PDF security is set to false. The deliver default is true. Change the property group to people tool settings. Ensure the PSXP use default out destination is set to true so we can pull the resulting PDF merge URL from the object properties in people code. Before leaving the demonstration, I want to show you where PeopleSoft has documented the BI publisher and merger classes. Look into people tools people books under development tools. Then people code API reference. Find the BI Publisher class section. We can see all the BI Publisher classes, methods, and properties, including the page numbering class and the PDF merger class. There is also a watermark class, but that's going to be another video. So there you have it. It's pretty easy using PeopleSoft's delivered APIs for merging PDFs and putting in those line numbers. We took two reports, put them together into a third report, and delivered them to the user. Thanks for watching. Like and comment below. Please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you next time here on People Tools Tech Tips.